All right, Steve, this week we got our hands on a dogfighter free-to-play game that's in beta, so this is going to be a recommend or do not recommend, and man, yeah. what did you think of this dragon-riding dogfighter-style game, dude? <laughs> well, first off, like we still said earlier, there's quite a few um, multiplayer online PvP kind of games, and to have another one come out and be different and you need to keep people entertained this ticks all the boxes for me mm -hmm. this was so much fun i absolutely love this game and like you said this is in a beta mode as well graphically it was really good i love the way that they performed the dragons with the wings moving up and down um it was so clean visually it was just a nice looking game but there's a lot more to it than just flying dragons as you have a rider that has abilities to go with these dragons and there's three classes as well yeah steve so with three classes comes quite a bit of variety each character has the same left and right click attack you know a flame ball and a fire breath move but then where the classes kind of differentiate is one of them let's say the wind guard they're more of like a, a healer based class that leaves a smoke trail behind them if someone's chasing them down or in my case the one I really liked the marauder which deflects incoming attacks and makes it so enemies can't lock on to you for a short period of time or has the gust ability that just blows you far away from them there is yeah. honestly a lot of variety just between these three different classes that we've seen so far and they do actually have one grayed out on the home screen so we know that at least one's coming when the full release <coughs> comes up in april but man again like i said these three classes they the graphics look great i love the dragons i like that you can customize your dragon and your rider they kind of went for like this more medieval and realistic look which i absolutely adore i love making a really cool knight on your really cool dragon all of which you can customize it's not just you yeah. know get a new dragon or get a rare dragon you can get your legendary dragon but you can also get your different craniums or saddles or different armor pieces for your character there's a lot of customization in this free-to-play game dude oh yeah it's definitely and just touching on the points when you sort of said there's not a lot of controls in it a lot of it's from the mouse space key that will give you acceleration mm -hmm. the shift key will kind of slow you down or stop you mid flight and then you have s and d which are extra abilities which get unlocked depending on what match you're on like when you start the first match you just get the two attacks and then in the next rounds then it unlocks one of the other abilities depending if it's a gust or if it's a projectile and then the next match you'll get the other ability which could be a shield or a different kind of ability depending on the character you have but to start the game off you, you have to start off as a rookie and it's just a three versus three they're two minute rounds and it's the first one to five and boy it's intense that first, oh. that first match is intense <laughs> honestly i i that's where i found i spent a lot of my time was in the 3v3 modes the 6v6 was a little bit laggy from my bit of experience it just there was a lot happening with that many people yeah i don't know if it's so much my pc but you were having some issues as well so it kind of leads me to believe that they maybe have some server issues to work yes. out but man, again, the 3v3 fights, man. There are a lot of modes. There's only a couple unlocked in the beta, but there's got to be about yeah. 10 different things. You got like a sort of this capture the flag where you hold the flag, go through as many gates as you can, but if you die, 
the enemy team has to grab the flag and then go through gates and then by the end of the timer whoever has the most gates wins there's like that kind of mode but then you have again like that 6v6 chaos mode where you can the get the special you get a skirmish and then oh there's a lot here and then this is only in beta and this is as far as i'm concerned yep. going to be a free to play game so you gotta also kind of keep in mind with the currency and kind of the way the whole store is laid out. You got your gold and then your gems, gems in which yep. you can spend real money on to buy certain exclusive uh, cosmetic ice items. But then the gold you can you know buy pretty much everything with. So I don't know. You gotta. I'm really excited for this dude. This kind of on yeah. the rails because you don't actually. Another thing with the controls in this, you're not pushing yourself forward you're kind of always moving forward yes. which is yes. honestly great because it makes the controls just a little smoother you will to dash forward like you said with the, the sprint button while you're watching your yes. stamina or you know be able to just press shift and then quickly turn on the dime to turn around and kill the guy that's chasing you down there's oh it's great man <laughs> yeah I, I, i'm with you on that when i first played it i forgot about using the the uh, shift key to slow down or to stop so the mechanics are great because when you're flying that dragon and like you said it's just going forwards and when you've got to quickly dodge a rock or a mountain or something it's hard work keep sliding that mouse to the left to try and turn and then i realized oh hit the shift button and then as you turn like you said you can just turn straight on the spots which was another great feature which i liked mm -hmm. because in on the capture the flag there's a lot of low flying where you actually fly actually through the mountain. There's like caverns mm -hmm. and they're quite tight and small. And you have to use that shift key in your mouth <laughs> yeah. and just get, like get bang, through bang, there. Bang. <laughs> yeah, I've done a lot of that. And I've done a couple of face, uh, face plants into the mountains as well. <laughs> um, but going back to what you were saying about the lagging, I tried this six versus six skirmish one and it's a seven minute round and it's six versus six and it's Try and destroy as many enemies as you can. Every dragon you destroy, you get a point for that for your team. And I think we kind of won it on like a 43 to 37 in seven minutes. Oh. And that was that was intense. Um, but I did have a lot of issues, like you said, with the lagging, uh, which was very frustrating because you don't need lagging in this game. Because <laughs> a lot of times it lagged on me just as I was trying to turn. And next thing I know, I'm in the mountain and I'm set on fire by the other team. So that wasn't a very a good thing for me. But overall, but overall, the whole game itself, apart from that one issue, it played perfectly for me. I had no, no problems at all. And another thing I noticed as well that we sort of mentioned earlier is on the load screen is when you hit the space bar to sort of give you tips or ideas. I did actually get like a, a green A icon come up which kind of hints to me yeah. like is this coming to console maybe xbox or something later on maybe it's working on the optimization on that as well hopefully man hopefully because i think if this game can land on other platforms and then hit that cross play like break through that cross play barrier you could have a yeah. really good successful multiplayer game here man i really really believe so yeah also at the beginning as well i did like the way they done the tutorial as well there's another icon for the tutorial and it will go through all the different modes that mm -hmm. you can have and it'll break it down like the basic controls the objective of the game and then it'll be like a little video clip of what you're supposed to do and the aim of the game so i did find that very useful as well it because there's been quite a few games we've reviewed <laughs> and tried out and there's nothing at all of what you're supposed to do or the idea of the game or anything like that so this was a big help for me as well no, even the, though there was limited controls the tutorials were great and they also had a free roam mode so you could literally just yep. fly around and kind of just practice maneuvering your dragon and using your abilities so again great having these options because man we play a lot of games and a lot of games don't have very intuitive tutorials so okay yes. man I think we've definitely talked about this one enough. are you yeah. gonna recommend this one <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious from my <laughs> perspective um, apart from the lagging which you get in a lot of games nowadays and this is like I said just still early beta mode the graphically the gameplay 
I was I found it very addictive, and I'm sure this is definitely going to be a few uh, let's plays on the ITG oh, yeah. uh, roster coming up later on. But this is definitely a recommend for me. Yeah, man. Well, like you said, this game's in beta testing, and that's why they do this to work out some of these online issues. So if they can fix that, and you know we maybe see this on console, this game could really, I think, take everyone by surprise. I highly recommend this one. This is a highly addictive multiplayer online PvP game that was full of surprises. There were some issues with lagging on the 6 vs 6, but this is still in beta. This is a recommend.